So this is something I don't typically get into, but I decided, what the heck, uh, let's do a little bit of landscaping, a little bit of paver work. So this is like, this little wall here is actually, the purpose of this little short wall is to divert the water away from the house from coming from down that hill. It actually jumps over the, you know, this little trench here. It'll, if, on a, during an extremely heavy rain, the water will actually jump over and it was coming into her yard against the house. And so this, this should do the trick, should divert this water away from her house. She was getting water in her basement. And so I wanted to make it a short video. Um, what you see, there's actually like three rows underground to kind of anchor this wall down, kind of keep it in place. And so the first step was dig it out. And the second step was kind of pack the dirt down. And I want to show you what I used with, with the help of a general contractor as a neighbor who gave me some advice. So this is all-purpose stone that went down first. And you pack that down and you want to go about three or four inches deep with the, it's kind of like gravel. Pack that down with a tamper, tamp it down. Then you come in with about a one inch layer of this product that I purchased at Lowe's. I am very pleased with this paver base. This works really well. It packs nicely. It's easy to work with. It's got some negative reviews online, but I give it thumbs up, five stars. So you first you dig your trench, you tamp it down with the tamp the stone down. Go over it. Go put a, put about a one inch layer of this paver base. Pack it down. Then what I did was I came in with some cement blocks. And I actually uh, set each individual block and leveled each block as I went. I didn't screed the paper base, which might have made it a little quicker, but I didn't have much room to work down in this trench. And so, it, it, I, did, I don't know. I mean, I, that's just the way I did it. Oh, and also, let me show you the adhesive that I used to glue. I glued every one of these uh, pavers together. That's, you can get that at Home Depot. I think Lowe's also has it, but it's re a really good adhesive. It really worked well sticking these together. And so, this was kind of a fun project. Worked a little bit of back muscles for sure. I'll probably come in here and eventually what I'm going to do is mortar this gap between the sidewalk and the paver wall. I couldn't get it right against the sidewalk because the sidewalk actually has a little bit of, you can't really tell, but it snakes a little bit. And so uh, that, that's the best I could do with it. It's hard to tell from this video, but it does have a couple turns in it. And so overall pretty happy overall really happy with how this turned out so anyway um, hope this might help you if you're tackling a job like this it's gonna be it's very labor-intensive it's you better enjoy digging in dirt and just bending over picking up these stones and buddy I, I enjoy it and so let me know what you think of this this was just to divert that water coming from that hill up there. Kind of divert it down and away from the house. Whew. Past the backyard, into the backyard and on down. So 33 feet, seven inches from the beginning here to the, to the end. So the biggest thing is your first, your course base or your first row needs to be spot on because that's going to determine how the rest of your project goes and so this came out I took the time 
got the first row level. This came out really pretty, pretty well. So anyway, let me know what you think. Thank you.